I had a beer that was it, it was an IPA, and I had I think I took a best of show with it in one competition. This was a competition that uh, before I was a full fledged judge, I was just a, an apprentice or associate or whatever you called it, first step, and I had submitted the beers only a, to find out that it was only for extract beers only. And it was an all grain beer. Well, they would accept it anyhow. Uh, so would I, would I judge? Uh, and I said, well, I, you know, I have a beer in this. Said, well, that's all right. So what happens is I get my own beer to judge with two other judges who are more experienced than me. Uh, this is a beer that has won a couple of awards, one maybe a best of show or a second best of show. I would crack it open. It was a 16 ounce bottle. I know it was my beer. Uh, crack it open, we pour it. I go and smell and I smell cheese. Ugh, that's a sign of old hops. Uh, and I, what's, what's with this? I know it's my beer. I have to be honest, uh, uh, bite my tongue let them go first. I point out that it smells like cheese. It's probably from Old Top. Oh yeah, you're probably right. I'm thinking, well, there goes a, an award. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be uh, a good judge on this. And one bottle out of all of them was bad. And why all bottles, you know, when, there's, there's a, this is another thing home brewers need to, need to remember. There are two things uh, preparing your equipment. One is cleaning. That is a physical action of scrubbing stuff off of your apparatus or your bottles or whatever. Three rinses of everything is the minimum to get rid of debris and, and the bad bugs. Uh, and, then, and then you sanitize. I've seen people, I've heard of people, well, you know, if it's dirty, I just dump more sanitizer in it. Well, then, as George Fix used to say, then you know what you end up with? You end up with an attempt to try to sanitize dirt and it doesn't work. Um, so I think, you know, uh, that, that's, an, that's an important thing for, for people. Uh, uh,